Hey, Pat Flanagan here. I've been getting a lot of questions about Video Spin, the app that Anthony Aries and I are launching on May 17th. People have been wanting to know what does it do? How easy is it to use? Is it really as easy as we say? So I thought the best way was to show everyone. So I'm going to actually use Video Spin here to create some videos and you can see how quick and easy it is. So what Video Spin lets you do is it lets you join together video clips and images into basically a slideshow type presentation and it can do this as random as you want or as non-random as you want and you can do up to a hundred videos in one shot so i'm going to uh, let's see i have a uh, demo folder here with some content um, my girlfriend is from alberta and the last time we were up there we went to banff national park it was a beautiful place so i've got like uh, 29 pictures of banff here and we're going to create something that um, either a, a brick and mortar or an online travel agent would want to use to create some videos to get uh, onto youtube and get some Google search results. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to connect up our source folder that we have the images in. So you browse for that and go to the Banff folder and there we are. And yes, Banff is just as difficult to say as, as you would think. Um, destination folder, we'll just put this right into the video spin demos main folder. How many clips do we want to have per project? Let's make this, um, you can just, you can turn the, the dial here or you can type a number in. For the sake of expediency, let's put six images per project and let's create five different videos. Now we can set a minimum, minimum and a maximum duration per image. Now this is where it's really cool because what it's going to do is it's going to, to randomly pick six images for each video, as I designated here, out of that folder, and it's going to create the slideshow, and you can change how long each image is in there by giving it a range. So we can have three to, you know, six seconds, something like that. And what you end up with is each video is a different length, so they are definitely unique videos. Now, if you wanted to put this together as a commercial. If you wanted to have an actual, you could create commercials for um, your online sites, for offline, whatever. You can set the minimum and maximum the same length. And this lets you calculate out exactly how long it's going to last. So we have six images, three seconds each, that's 18 seconds. That gives us some time for an intro and final video, which We'll, I'll show you that in just a second here. Let's blow through this here. Um, we can set up video transitions. So this is how we want to transition from picture to picture. And we have a bunch of choices. If you just pick one, it uses the same one each time. If you pick multiple ones, it will randomly go between them. So let's get rid of these motion ones. Let's do cross dissolve, fade to black, fade to white. Very quick and easy. I'm going to put this transition time down to 500 milliseconds. And then video quality, this is what the output is going to be. I'm going to put it to high, which happens to correspond to 1280 by 720. Um, let's put a watermark on here. We're going to go into the watermarks, turn it on, go into my watermarks folder, and I have one for Banff. And let's put that at the top of the screen. Let's make it 100% normal size. You can set it to different scale and we'll leave it at 50% opacity. Now you can put, like I said, an intro video or image or a final video or image on and I am going to do this, but I don't want the watermark on those. So we'll turn those off. Uh, music, you can have optional music. You can turn it on and off. I happen to have a folder full of music MP3s. I think I have uh, about 20 different pieces of music in there. You can set what the volume is going to be and whether you want to start with the first one and then in this video two, use the second one. I'm going to put it just random. Show whatever you want. Um, we'll play the audio during the intro and play the audio during the final. And for the intro video or image, I have a brand slide here and this is for the actual uh, travel agent, the fictional travel agent that we're doing. We'll use it at the front and the end. Now, a list of file names. This is where you can put keywords and it will name the videos after the keywords or key phrases. This is really important and saves a lot of work for you because we can put in stuff like Banff, Banff, Alberta, 
Banff National Park, um, Canada Tours, and we need a fifth one. Let's uh, do Banff Hiking. Now what it'll do is it'll name the first video Banff, it'll name the second one Banff Alberta, etc. And then when you add those to your YouTube account, boom, there's your video title that's automatically in there. So we set unique file names. Then we can set how much of the system resource you want to use, normal if you're going to do extra work while you're doing this, high or even maximum. I'm going to put it on high because we're recording here. I don't want it to totally screw up my recording. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make you watch it actually create the videos, but I have Google's on-screen timer here. So I'm going to start it and then start the timer. I'll pause this video and then as soon as it's going to finish, I'll come back on so you can see how long it took to create these five videos. So there's all the setup we need to do and I set up every possible thing. Let's start spinning them. Now I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so we're back. We're at about 94% and we've gone just a little bit over two minutes and we're almost done and complete. Two minutes, 20 seconds, we created five videos. It would have been quicker if I would have set this to maximum resource usage. But that gives you an idea of how long this takes and how much work do I have to do to create these videos? You saw it right here. Just click a couple of settings, set it all up, and go. So now let's take a look at what we've created here. Here are our five videos we've created. And you can see that each one has a different file size. That's because we set a minimum and maximum time on how to show how long to show each picture. So let's take a look at one of these. We'll take one at random, Banff Hiking MP4. Let's see how this does. Here we are, and we'll play it. So you can see it's shifting through each picture we had in there. It randomly picked these pictures. Each picture is on for anywhere from three to six seconds as we set it. Has the watermark up the top with 50% transparency. We had an intro picture and we'll have the same picture at the end here. We're just coming up to it and there it is with our information. That's how easy it is to set these up and if you go to the next one you would see that they're unique and I'll actually post these so you can take a look at them. So that's how easy it is to do this. You can create commercials, you can create anything you really want to use for video if you want to dominate YouTube and get traffic coming from Google because you know how much Google and YouTube love each other. So if you have an online store, you can put your product photos into videos quite easily. If you're a wedding photographer, you can make randomized slideshows of all of your clients. So many uses. So we know your buyers are really going to want to snap this up. So remember, Anthony Aries and I are launching Video Spin on May 17th. We're doing a four-day power launch, 17th through the 20th, and we are giving you up to $285 per sale. That's because, as our picture here says, of course, with very little hype, we're breaking the rules and giving you 50% of a high-ticket back-end webinar. This is something that most vendors never do. You don't get cut in as an affiliate, and we're doing it for you. So if you're interested in making up to $285 per sale and getting part of our $10,000 in prizes for this four-day power launch, come to jvwithpat.com slash video spin and that's where you'll find your link request and all sorts of other goodies that you need if uh, you need any other help or you have any questions contact me pat flanagan at patflan42 on skype or you can contact me through facebook or email pat at jvwithpat.com like you see right here so thanks a lot hope you enjoyed the demo see you on may 17th for the launch of video spin